Hey, Kevin here, Skylabs, bringing you a really short video this time. Unfortunately, I've been under the weather for the last week or so. Again, I completely lost my voice. I'm getting a little bit of it back, but it's really making getting a video this Sunday done challenging. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do a live stream tonight. What time are we doing that live stream, Eric? Did we figure that out? Was it eight, eight o'clock central? Eight o'clock central. So um, if you can join us for that, that would be great. We'll give back to the videos that we usually bring you guys every Sunday, but I just happen to be taking off this Wharfdale back panel. This is a W60 and I've had a pair a long time ago. From what I understand, these are sand filled and um, this is a first generation or an early generation of the W60. And I thought you all might like to take a look at what's on the inside. The first pair I had, these grill cloths and frames were removable. These are not. So you gotta go in from the back really to see what's going on. We're gonna do film caps and new binding posts and maybe update the uh, insulation on the inside as I'm sure this stuff is really nasty. It usually is. It's like that old uh, Pink Panther stuff that makes you itch for 10 days after you even look at it. So yeah, I'm just gonna take these screws out. Let's see if these are sand filled. They're heavy enough to be sand filled. And I think the reason they did that was, you know, really dampen these cabinets. Give me a second, I'll get this back off and we'll take a look at these W60s. One of the next videos coming up is gonna be on some of the amplifiers from the 70s. And we've actually got them sitting over there behind Eric right now. Some of them, I'm trying to get them all gathered up so I can start getting info on them. I was gonna try and get that video done. Um, I just don't think it's gonna happen. We had a guy come in today and brought in a Samsung. Model number was SA3500, I believe. Does that sound right, Eric? Yeah. Really cool guy. I've known that Samsung made amplifiers in the 70s, but I've never had one. And he actually posted it last night on Facebook and I just messaged him and said, hey, you know, if you still got this, bring it into the store, I'll pay you your asking price. And from what I did see, it looked like it was built really well. Oh, I see, I see. This knob is off one position. There we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. Do the dance again. That was great. <laughs> I can get in on it. So it does not look like these are sand filled, and there's really not much insulation in there. Really nice woofer. Is that asbestos? That is probably asbestos. Probably don't want to lick it. And I, this is funny because I actually tried moving the potentiometer here and I could not hear a difference. And that makes sense now because somebody's bypassed it. These two leads here are not connected anymore. And this would be attenuation for the, uh, for the tweeter. So I will probably see if I can get one of the Dayton audio ones to work there. And then we're definitely going to replace this electrolytic with, um, with a film cap. See, the last pair I had, I could have swore was a three-way, first off. And I know it had the purple tweeter in there, which is what can be a problem. And I'd really like to find out what that is, but something interesting, um, I just noticed, it looks like there's some caps on the end of this back panel. And I'm wondering if maybe that is where the sand is. I don't see why they would have these plugs on here yeah they've definitely got two pieces of plywood and it feels pretty solid i don't know if somebody knows more about wharfdales you know these are made in england this is the second pair i've seen in nine years they're just not really common around here so yeah let us know in the comments what all was sand filled you know i assumed it was the sides too but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah. That's a lot deader. Yeah. Or is it more dead? More dead. 
Hey, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has clicked, liked, and subscribed over the years. We just hit 40,000, which is a number that I honestly didn't think we'd ever hit. So thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. You can always unclick it later. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry we couldn't get you a video our normal schedule, but I'm, I'm starting to feel better. I'm sure I'll feel better by tonight. Definitely bring your questions. Join Eric and I. We're going to go live at 8 p.m. It'll be fun. So have a great Sunday. We'll see you tonight. Thanks.